Hello and welcome to Vlogsmaster, my name is Elder, and in this video I will show you how you can install and how you can use minimalist library for blogs. So without further ado, let's jump to our computer here. So we have the website here, blogslibrary.com, where you can learn about the library, you can watch some tutorials on how to install, how to update, how to do some adjustments to the typography, colors and others. We have some update release notes page, but now we also have very much improved guide or preview preview page, I should say, which uh, has the new live preview of all of the sections. So you can use this drop down menu to switch between the sections, or you can go to this um, this area here and select the section or the category you would like to preview. So by clicking on this section you can go to this page and you can preview live all of the sections included in the library and you can see how they work. So let's go to back to blocks and I will create, well I need to install the library first. So this is the files you can get when you purchase it, you will download it and inside this folder you will have a bunch of Bex files. So to install them to your computer, you need to open the latest version of blocks, which will be 5.2.4 if you watch this on the release date. So let's go to Window and Extension Manager. After that, you need to click this plus icon, navigate to this to this page, to this uh, folder we just had with all of the BEX files, select everything and click Open. And as you can see, in a few seconds, blocks will install everything. And by everything I mean all of the custom sections, which are blocks and site template. So now let's restart blocks and from here let's go back and create the new project. And all of the projects you use this minimalist library should use this minimalist site template because it has all of the code, all of the classes needed for the best experience. So let's click on this and let's click use template. You can input the title of your website. It's not necessary to do it right away here because we can always come back to this later. So see things like logo, primary colors or secondary colors, which this time actually very important because we do not have the brand color anymore. If you used version one before, you know that we had a primary color used for branding. Now I do not do that because all four supported swatches, primary and secondary ones, are used for all of the sections. So basically the library is now black and white by default and primary colors are used for background and secondary colors are used for text. So in any case, let's skip that for now and for website font, we're now using Helvetica as a default, but I will show you how to change it to anything you want. So uh, after you created the project, there is a quick uh, startup page here. You can go to this uh, guide page to watch all of the tutorials, but we will delete it because we don't need it anymore and yeah from here we can just assemble the page we would like to have so we can click on the plus icon and now inside the block bar after installing the library we will have this minimalist library available as an option let's select this and it will only show the sections which are inside the minimalist library so let's assemble some kind of website here. We can use some mega menus or I will use just a simple menu like this. The thing I would like to recommend to you is at least checking out what's included in the library before you start building the websites or using the library. Because we have the preview experience inside blog bar where you can hover your mouse over the block and it will show you the bigger version of this section. But it's not very, very advanced and it is an image preview. So I recommend to open this uh, preview page on your browser and you can always come back, back and forth between the blocks application in your browser. So you can, for example, you need a FAQ section. You go to FAQ category here and you can see how this will work on the live website. And yeah, let's say that you browse it and you say, well, I like this FAQ 8 section. So now let's go back to blocks and you can di uh, direct directly go to FAQ 8 section 
and add it to your project. So let's go to FAQ and we have FAQ 8 right here. And as you can see now we have it inside our project. So after you assemble the structure which you want to have for your website, uh, of course you need to style it and make it your own. If you want to infuse some new colors, some brand colors, uh, you can do that using the Swatch Manager by adding the new swatches. But these four are only for background and for text. So let's say that you want to change this from light theme, which is kind of cool, but let's say that you want to have dark themed website. So to do that now you can quickly switch this primary colors and secondary colors. So as you can see primary is used for background. So background right now is white but we can change this to something darker. Let's make it well, maybe almost black or maybe something like that. You can also type, just type the value one. For example, I'm using 10, 10, 10 for the background in my case. Then the second one is the alter alternative background. It's used for cards and stuff like that. So I will use something like a little bit brighter, dark, or a little bit lighter, dark, I guess. So let's say like that. And now, as you can see, I have two same primary and secondary colors. I need to change that obviously. So for text, instead of black, I will be using, let's go just have white like this. And for the secondary variant, which is for regular text or some subtext, subtitles, let's have something like a little bit darker, I mean, a little bit off white color, I guess. So I use this one and by default, but you can type wherever you want, it's up to you. So after I changed the after I changed the colors from primary to secondary, as you can see, now all of the pages, all of the sections are black, this white text. Everything is transformed to the dark version. So by editing the four classes, you can transform back and forth between the dark and light version. Thing is, now if you want to change to make some changes to some particular sections, you can always do that. You can manually create the different style pages. And if you want, for example, to change the uh, some of the sections completely to the light version, now you will have to manually create, uh, do that. So for example, let's say that for this page, I wanted to have dark version like this. And you can easily do that like this, for example. And a few things we also can change are things like typography, of course. So to change typography, let's quickly go to the class manager and edit the first class here. So I will, I will use Meriwether, one of my favorite fonts. As you can see, all of the text now changed to Meriwether, but we also need to change this for bold as well. So find class bold and uh, change it to whatever you want, for whatever you want. In this case, I will go to Meriwether Black. And you saw by default there was bold enabled and it makes it a little bit too bold in my opinion. I mean, because fonts have included weight in them in Blocks app for now. So I select uh, this weight option and disable it because inside the font itself we already have the thickness set for us. So for bold I will use Meriwether Black and for buttons as you can see they're using Meriwether but it is light version. If we open BTN we can also change the type of face for buttons so I think Meriwether Bold will be the best. Okay so now as you can see all of our website has new typography. All of the sections have new typography. And I think another thing I would like to change is the rounded, rounded corners, rounded corners on things like, for example, this page here, this um, pricing section here, or the FAQ section, or buttons, or these cards here. 
All of them have rounded corners now, and that's all by design. By design, because if we want to change it to something else, we need to edit just a couple of classes. Let's open class manager again and edit the global radius class. So global radius. Uh, if you go to the third tab in this class, you can see that we have 10 set as a radius. If we want to change it, we can type 28, we'll make it even more rounder, but I want to make it completely square, so I will type 0. And I will go to the last tab and I will check important, which is important to override all of the other settings we have. So I will click done and I will do the same. I mean, not the same, I will change the buttons as well because you can see buttons are not affected by the global radius class. So let's find BTN. Go to the third tab and instead of 10, type zero. And this time we don't even need to go to the important thing. So click done and now if we go to preview, you will see that all of the buttons, all of the elements now have the squared square design, which I also like. As you can see, everything works perfectly. So uh, the workflow I would like to suggest here is not to use this out of the box for your website. Although you can do that to really simplify your workflow, but actually my idea behind this product is to provide you the tool to create and quickly assemble 90% of your website. And after you do that, you can input the remaining 10 into the content, into the styling, maybe adding some fancy buttons because by default, all of the buttons are black and white now. If you want to have some CTA, beautiful CTA button, you should create it yourself like you will usually do inside Blocks application. But you're not tied to one design, you can choose wherever you want. So this is the big advantage. And once you have all of the settings you want for typography, for colors, for, for row, rounded corners, you can continue to add the new sections. And the beautiful thing is they all will follow the settings you already have. For example, here, as you can see, all of the styling, all of the typography and colors are respected. If you want, for example, to change our website to completely different color, for example, something like that. We can also do that. As you can see now we have completely different red styled page. So I will add the new preview for header. And by the way, as you can see, the thumbnails for the block bar are always in light version, like they will be by default in blocks application. So I decided to keep it always white to make it easier to preview. So let's say that we want to have this section this time. Once you're happy with your website, of course, go to menu manager, like adjust the links, make sure that you have all of the uh, links and buttons connected to the right pages. And yeah, you can publish this website, of course, after changing all the content, all of the images. In some point, if you would, if you decided to go back to light version, again, all you need to do is adjust four of these classes. Let me switch back to the default values, which were before I edited this. As you can see now, everything is in light theme and every element is perfectly styled for the light theme. So this is how I use Minimus library all the time for my freelance projects. I use it to quickly assemble the pages and choose the layouts and then changing the global styling for text, for colors, for corner radius, for example. And at the end of the day, it allows me to save a lot of time. I will continue to improve this to add the new sections and I will also improve the existing ones and we'll release more and more updates in coming months. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Go check this out and make your website this much improved minimalist library for blogs.